But the Illawarra Flame is an eco-friendly transformation of the typical Australian fibro house. The home is net zero energy, which means we produce more energy than we consume in the home. A key aspect of retrofitting homes is being able to make the building as airtight as possible and also to improve the insulation in the home. What we did was determine the value of what we required for our thermal performance and air tightness through computer modelling. We've achieved at least R6 throughout our building envelope. We've really driven our solar application. We're trying to use the sun in, in effective ways, but also you know, not just chucking solar panels up everywhere to overgenerate. We're trying to use them in smart and different ways. So we've got two types of solar panels on our house. A fairly traditional polycrystalline system. We've then got a separate system that's made out of CIGS thin film panels. The benefits of using CIGS solar panels is that they work better than polycrystalline in low light conditions. Now those panels have also been mounted to a steel flashing that sits over the top of our roof profile. By doing that we create an air gap underneath our solar panels, which we can then draw air through to extract heat or cold uh, from underneath those panels. Uh, we can then reuse that heat when we need to, for instance at night time in winter. The other ways we've used the solar application is just about the way we place shading and windows. There is a thermal mass wall made of recycled terracotta tiles in the living area. The window adjacent to that is designed such that in winter the sun's energy can come and directly hit that wall heating it up. But in summer, because the sun angle changes, the sun doesn't come in that window at all. Another big energy use in the house is typically a hot water system. So what we've done is we've really driven this down by using an effective evacuated tube solar hot water system. So we've installed 30 evacuated tubes. That'll just ensure that you'll have adequate hot water supply right through winter and summer. So we've got a number of water saving features in the house, one of which is a natural reed bed system. So the idea with the reed bed is that as the water is used in the things like the shower or any grey water sources, so your, your sinks, your laundry tub and your washing machine, that water is brought out of the house into a storage container and then pumped into a natural reed bed. It's an artificial wetland. You use gravel media and you grow water plant species in um, reeds. Bacteria grow on the gravel surface, creating a, a biofilm, and the bacteria convert the nitrogenous waste into free nitrogen, which the, the reeds then use as nutrient. But the garden bed also acts as a natural filter, so as the water filters through the garden bed, it comes out the other side a lot cleaner. It can be reused in things like for irrigation outside the house. The laundry pod contains our building control system. What it does is it controls the lighting, the ventilation, it also allows the occupants to open windows and do a number of different things like look at the energy use. The idea with monitoring our consumption is that we can notify the occupant how much energy they're using and where they're using that energy so they can modify their behaviour. The Illawarra Flame shows how technologies can be used together to make retrofitting a widespread reality. We believe this is the home for the future.